Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of C programming and in this video we are going to study how to sort the element of an array. So first of all, we will see what is the meaning of sorting. Sorting means arranging your data in ascending or descending order. Okay, or in case of array, I will say arrange elements in ascending or descending order okay that is called as sorting now actually there are various ways to sort an array and here we are going to concentrate on selection sort i'm going to tell you a logic of selection sort okay now consider that this is my input array okay and what i want i want to sort this array in an ascending order so what should be my output my output should be 5, then 7, then 8, then 10, and then after 28. So this should be my output. So first of all, we will understand how to sort array using selection sort method. Okay. So let me rub this part first. So in selection sort, we have to compare our first element with the rest of the elements. Okay, so if 8 is smaller than 28, yes. So what you will do, you will swap it or you will interchange the value at 0 and first position. So what will be your new value? New value will be 8, 28, 5, 10 and 7 okay after interchanging these two value at 0th position there will be 8 and at first position there will be 28 again you will compare the element at 0th position with second element in array so is 5 smaller than 8 yes it is smaller so what you will do again you will swap or interchange the values at 0th and second position so my new output will be 5, 28, 8, 10 and 7. Now I compare element at 0th position with 3rd element or 3rd position element. So is it smaller? No. So my array will remain as it is. So 5, 28, 8, 10 and 7. Now still last element to be compared. So now we will add, compare our 0th position element with last element. Is it smaller? No. So my array will remain as it is. Okay. Now during first iteration, we got our first element to be sorted or we got our first element to its appropriate position. Okay. Now in next iteration, we will consider only this part. In next iteration, we will consider only this part. Okay. Now, in second iteration, what we want to do? We want to compare our first element with the rest of the element. So, 28 get compared with 8. Is 8 smaller? Or the element at next position is smaller than the element that you are comparing. Then you have to do interchanging of it. So, 8 is smaller. So, 5. Then here 8 will be there. Then 28. Then 10. And then 7. Now you will compare 8 with 10. No, it is not smaller. So 5, 8, 28, 10 and 7. So 8 will be compared with 7. Is it smaller? Yes. So 5, 7, 28, 10 and 8. Now you got your first two elements sorted. Okay. And in next iteration, we will consider only these three elements. Okay. Now let us compare element at second position with the third position element. Is it smaller? Yes. So what you have to do? You have to do swapping or you have to interchange the value. Then this 10 get compared with 8. Yes, 8 is smaller. So here 8 will appear, then 28 and then 10. Okay. Now at the third iteration, you will get this sorry 
sorry here there should be a 5 right so in third iteration you will got this three elements to be sorted and now which element you have to consider on the last two okay now let us consider that part now compare element at third position with fourth position element it is smaller yes so what you will say 5 7 8 10 and 28 so at the fourth iteration you will have this output now you do not have any element further to compare it with 28 okay so this process will stop here and if you look at your output it is in sorted order right and it is in ascending order 5 7 8 10 and 28 and we we are expecting this output right so in this way the elements are sorted using selection sort method okay now let us write a code for this now here as you can see how many times we perform this process 1 then 2 then 3 and 4 times okay means if your array have 5 elements you will do this process how many times 4 times okay and again we have to perform the internal comparison also we have to perform the internal comparison also so here we need nested loop okay so my outer loop will run four times and if i have n elements it will run n minus one times okay and to compare zeroth element with first then zeroth element with second then zeroth element with third and fourth so on i need one more loop okay now let us see the logic behind this so consider that this is your i whereas this is your g okay so what you did you compare the value of i position with j position okay next time i remains same and j get incremented then i remains same j get incremented i remains same j get incremented so j goes till less than n see if you have five element it goes till last and in array a last element is at n minus one position right next time in the next iteration your i value get incremented okay so i will be now one and j will be what two so whatever will be the value of i j will always starts with i plus one look at here if i is 0 j is starting from 1 2 3 4 if i is 1 j is starting from 2 3 4 okay so whenever you reset the value of i j will starts with or j will start from next element from the i or you can say j will j value will be i plus 1 okay so here now again this is your i this is your g this is your i this is your g this is your i and this is your g so as you can see here okay i will be up to second last position of the array whereas j goes till end j goes till end okay so how will my loop will appear first of all let us switch to next page So let us write i loop first. So for i is equal to 0, i less than n minus 1 and i plus plus. Now look at this part carefully. Look at here. I started with 0, right? Means okay, and it goes till n minus 1. Okay, means if my uh, n value is 5. So it will go till n minus 1 means 5 minus 1 is what 4 and less than 4 means what it will goes up to 3 okay so that's why I said i equal to 0 and i less than n minus 1 then let us write an inner loop so j is starting with i plus 1 and it goes till end of my array so I am saying j is less than n 
okay so if you check it here look at here if i is 0 j is 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 in next iteration when i is 1 j will starts with 2 so whatever will be the value of i j is always i plus 1 and then after it continues to grow till n okay now here we want to do a interchange of i and j position value nothing but a swapping so when we are doing a interchanging whenever we are, when we are swapping when the element at i position is greater than the element at j position for ascending order remember this thing for descending order definitely condition will be exactly opposite so what i have to write if consider that this is my x array this is my x array okay so if x of i is greater than x of j then i want to do what swapping so let us write a code so here i will say if x of i is greater than x of j so this is the condition for ascending order if you want to perform descending order uh, descending order sorting then you will say x of j is greater than x of i then you have to do a swapping now all of you know the logic of swapping i will collect the value at x of i position in 10 then at x of i position i will uh, transfer x of j and x of j position will be equal to 10 which is nothing but a value at i position so that's it okay now here we are going to write a function so as we know we cannot return the array because after sorting basically what we did we perform the changes in our inputted array we didn't store the sorted value in another array we itself changed the array so definitely all the changes get reflected in my array and we cannot return the array because array is collection of more than one value and our function can return a single value only so that's why return type is void let us call our function as select sort and let us input array and as well as we have to specify the size also okay so this is a code for selection sort okay during first iteration value of i will be 0 okay and j will run from 1 to n minus 1 look at here i is equal to 0 j j will run from 1 to n minus 1 when j value is equal to n condition will false then i get incremented by 1 so i will be what 1 then j will run from see what we are saying i plus 1 so j will run from 2 to n minus 1 when i will be 2 it will run from 3 to n minus 1 and so on okay so i hope you understand this and in we are going to run this program in a code block at that time i'll you i'll explain you the main function okay so as you can see here i wrote a prototype as well as i completed the function definition also x of i is passed as a sorry x array is passed as argument as well as size is also passed as argument required local variables are declared in the function that is i j and 10 okay actually i didn't declare this variable here so i should declare it right so int i j and 10 okay now this is my outer loop that will run from 0 to n minus 1 means if my n value is 5 it will run 4 times then j will start with i plus 1 and j less than n till, till j less than n and n plus plus since we are doing a sorting in ascending order so when we want to swap when element at i position is greater than element at j position and then swapping logic is written now let us write a main program directly so here i declared one array a of size 50 then n is declared i is declared okay the value of n is accepted then values of a array is accepted and it will run n times then call is given to select sort function and after that after calling the function 
we are printing the array and we definitely get a sorted array because we know that whenever we pass an array to a function it is passed by reference means basically we are passing the address of the array so whatever changes we made in an in our array it get reflected in a calling program so let us execute it so let us say five elements okay first element is 28 then 8 then 5 then 10 and then 7 look at here you get your array sorted in ascending order 5 7 8 10 20 8. okay now let us try for descending order okay for descending order what i have to do i have to just change this sign i have to say if x of i is less than x of j then do a swapping so let us run this and we will input the same values 28 A, five, ten, and seven. Look at here. We get our array in a descending order. So twenty-eight, ten, eight, seven, five. So I hope you understand this. And in upcoming videos, I try to uh, upload the videos of other sorting methods also. Thank you.